Hi everybody. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a quick snow scene in NVIDIA Omniverse. So what I'm going to do is use this little scene here that's called Low Poly Winter Scene. It's a Sketchfab scene, so pretty, uh, let me turn off the grid and the light, the little light symbol there. We don't need either of those. All right. And we're going to see, I don't see, there's the gizmo. I was looking for it. Okay. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to get rid of this ground plane and ground collider. And now I'm just going to create a plane to be our floor, our ground. And I'm going to scale it way out. Okay, so that. And what I want to do to that is use a material. I'm going to go to base, plastic, white, just drive that, just to make it look like snow. All right, now what I want to do is add a few other trees just because it doesn't hurt to use some NVIDIA assets in our scene. So we'll drag a tree over here. Oh, that looks kind of Christmassy. And we'll drag this one. We're getting some kind of warnings on them, but I'm not even going to worry about it. I just wanted to add something else to our scene. And it doesn't really match with these trees and the low poly trees, but that's okay. Okay, so now we're ready to build our snow scene. What we need to do is go to Create, Physics, Physics Scene. We're going to lower our gravity magnitude. I'm going to go down to about 20. You can go from about 3 to 50 and the snow falls at a pretty good rate. If you leave it up too high, it's going to go way too fast. Okay, now what I want to do is measure kind of the bounds of our scene to see where we're going to create our snow. So we're going to be using my website I built this week called Snow Creator. And I'll show it to you in just a second. So let's go mesh. Uh, we'll use a sphere. You can use anything. I just want to measure the kind of the, how big this scene is. So if you look at the X value here, it looks like about negative 1000 to positive 1000 and it's probably the same for the Z. So that's what we're going to use. So I'll hide our sphere for now. And now we're going to go to Snow Creator. The URL is snowcreator.datajuggler.com and we're going to change. I've got some instructions here if you want to come read it, but I'm going to just go through this real quick. I'm going to make this negative 1000. Same here for the X and Z. And this will be positive 1000. And we'll make this 1000. Our number to create, we're going to make 6000, the maximum. Uh, it does take a tiny bit longer and it's a little larger, but it, it lasts a little longer. It'll be more dense snow. All right, and I'm going to lower our scale down to four. That's probably fine, one to four. And I'm going to leave the additional Y alone. So what we're going to do now is just click Create Snow. I will tell you that this goes a tiny bit longer than the progress bar when you set the value at 6,000 because I didn't bother setting the progress bar to really be linked. I should have, but I was just in a, I made it, built it kind of quickly using a timer. Okay, this is a funny joke. I just thought of this. Tell me if you think it's funny. If it wasn't for helicopters, what would paranoid people get triggered by? But I don't know if that's funny to anybody else, but I just heard a helicopter go overhead and I was just thinking that, but anyway. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save this. And this, I'm gonna, is, ends with 210 because I've got more than one in this folder. So I'll say extract all. Now we're going to go to Omniverse Create. And I am going to uh, click on Content, go to C, my temp folders where I just saved that last one. And that one ended with course I have the memory I think it was let's go back and look at my site 210 is what I've got okay you just drag this onto the stage it takes about 10 or 15 seconds if you have 6,000 objects it's adding but that's that's for me it might be slower or faster depending on your computer 
Okay, so when you see that little graph there, you know it's loaded. Okay, so now we're, you can kind of see our snow because I have it selected right now, but there's a problem. I'm going to go ahead and run this and show you the problem. So you will notice uh, it also takes a little bit longer to start after you add, start adding snow. And the more snow you add, the more it's a kind of, I consider this to be a heavy way to do this. I'm going to ask Omniverse if there's any way to optimize this so it's not so uh, resource heavy, but that's, it is what it is. I, I, I wrote it pretty easily. All I do to build this is I take a, uh, I take the, U, the USD file with one sphere and I just ran, use random numbers and duplicate that sphere in, those, in these files. So that's, it's real simple. That's why I like USD because it's text. But as you can see, our frame per second is down to 0.75, kind of like message in a bottle compared to uh, 21st century standards. So we're going to stop that. This also takes a little bit to stop, but it shouldn't take more than a few more seconds. Okay, so now we're going to add an extension that is, I consider it a simulation magic called Fabric. So Fabric, if you enable it, it even says simulation there. It's made for this. I will tell you though, save your work before using this because things, it, it doesn't update if you make any changes. It might, but see all these like properties not updated because this is made to be like render, you know, high speed simulation mode, not it doesn't do the, uh, the the standard USD stuff our regular way. Okay, so now we've got this ready and I'll run this again. And you'll see that our frames per second goes, it should be somewhere between 30 and 50 probably, maybe 60, depending on what my computer is busy doing once it actually starts. Okay, so it is now starting. And our frame per second is 50, so that's not too bad. Okay, and you can see our snow falling. I'm going to change our sky. I'm going to make the sky a little darker so it's not so... So our snow is a little more visible. You could also add a light if you really wanted to make your uh, snow show up a little more. But now that is this the first uh, amount of snow. If you want it to go slower change your gravity speed to lower or faster, etc. Now you'll notice though, this is kind of what you consider very, let me zoom way down here, very uh, vertical snow. If you want to have snow that's in a flurry, what you can do is we're going to create a sphere. I've already got one here, we'll just use it again. But we're going to make it a lot bigger. Okay is we're going to use this to have some snow bounce off of this sphere. And it should help us get some kind of flurries. We're even going to make our sphere a, kind of, we're going to mess with the way. Okay, and now I'm going to go negative 30. That didn't seem to, negative 30, that is 3. There. Okay, so this way the snow will hit this and kind of bounce snow onto our scene, but we're going to make this invisible. So we can say add physics colliders preset, and I'm going to leave it visible for now, and then I'll hide it once we actually run it, but I just want to see. Now we're going to go create some more snow. So to do that, I need another sphere, just because I want to see exactly where we want our new snow to come to. Okay, so our new value for snow is approximately, that is, looks like negative 600. So we'll use that. Let's come over here to Snow Creator. Yeah, I thought it was negative. We'll just go with negative 600. Two, and this has got to be bigger because it's the max. So we'll go to negative 400. We'll bring this in some, make this about negative... 300 to 300 and we're going to add a little bit here and this will make the snow come a little bit uh, higher up and we're going to increase this so this will make this part last longer and we'll create this snow so you can add multiple as many of these as you want as your computer can handle 
around 8 to 12 you'll start seeing messages you have to change some settings in your physics scene like bump up your rigid body count or your max buffer temp buffer patch count or something like that it'll tell you the message but you may have to take a screenshot really fast because the message sometimes goes away before you can read it okay so now we have another one three four one let me save this and I'm turning off a heating pad I got on my back okay getting hot all right so now we're gonna open this and extract the full and extract all and that ends with three four one so if I come over here click on temp there's three four one drag this this again takes about 10 or 15 seconds and we've almost got our snow scene so we're just about to run it I just wanted to show you how you can do a few things to add uh, more snow okay so it adds that and now we're going to select this and run it again and again it takes a little while to get started just so I can see it I'm gonna select the one we just added should be up that's a I added this one a little bit so this one's going to already be deep fallen so what we're going to do is add another one before I let this run I'm going to add one more of the first one so let's go back to snow creator and I'll, oops I'll show you one more feature you can do we'll put this back to what I had it as the negative 1000 to 1000 negative 1000 to 1000 and that's fine and that's fine and this time we're gonna increase this up to 3500 and this will start a little higher up so it will take longer to fall so thus we get more duration and this is the straight up and down snow but you can add multiple of each I mean I, I've created scenes with 10 or 12 of these and they're, they are big though, that's the only downside. That Those zip files for 6,000 is about 70 meg, and it unzips to about a half a gig, so, but hopefully you have a lot of hard drive space, because hard drive space. My first computer had a tape drive with 36, or not very, 64K on a tape drive or something, but that was years ago. All right, say, this is DC9, extract all. All right, so now we're gonna add the ones that ends in DC9, which is right there. Drag this onto our scene. Okay, and I'll go ahead and run this. So this way, by the time this one falls, the other one that hits the roof, and we'll make sure our roof hitting all works the way it's supposed to, hopefully. And then I'll hide these spheres and we'll just run our little scene. But I just wanted to, now I am going to hide the, because uh, that shadow there, we don't need that. I could also get rid of the shadow another way, but, and I've got another spear. Okay, so we'll hide that. So, now we should run this and get, hopefully, a little bit of good snow. So, let's see. So... Welcome to the northernmost outpost. I hate cold weather. I don't mind simulating it while I'm sitting in my house. Like right now we have a cold front in Houston and it's probably going to be 50 tonight. It's like some people live where it's so cold. I don't know how they do it. Okay, so here's our first regular snow and if you ever want to see which batch you're on you can kind of like select it and this is all this first one the second one hasn't made it yet this is the one up by the uh the ball and we can go look at our little so here's the ones coming off the sphere so that looks pretty good so that is gonna by the time we get down here that might even be too much but now i'll unselect that so we'll go back to the something like that Anyway, but that's how you can kind of get some snow that goes not just straight up and down snow. 
So what do you think? You think Snow Creator is worth the price of free? If you do, please like and subscribe. Alright, thanks for watching and Merry Christmas.